Hey guys, so today's video is sponsored by Easy Edit Pro. If you don't know about Easy Edit Pro, they are edit level authors on Video Hive. Uh, they create templates for DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Today, we're going to take a look at their all in one transition pack called Swift Transitions for DaVinci Resolve. Uh, this pack not only contains transitions, but it also has titles, LUTs, sound effects, and many other useful features like custom point control, fast previews, and ability to switch between any frame rate or aspect ratio. Now I asked them to do a giveaway of this pack for you guys and they were generous enough to do so. If you want to win this pack for free then stick around till the end and I'll show you how you can participate and win this giveaway. Uh, but if you don't win the giveaway then still this video will give you an idea about this pack, how it works, what transitions, cluts, titles and sound effects are included inside this pack. Now with that all being said, let's actually see how to get this pack installed in DaVinci Resolve. So here I am inside DaVinci Resolve and uh, what you have to do is just open up the project that you're working on and also open up the file that you downloaded, extract it and after extract it you should get all these different folders. Let's go to the fonts folder and double click on the font link. And you just download and install this font called Poppins. Uh, this is the font that they have used in this project. So just download this and uh, install it and then you should be pretty much good to go. You can close out of this, go back and uh, we have the project files. Uh, there is a tutorial uh, in here as well and some composition previews. But we're going to go uh, in the project files and we have this DRFX bundle over here. So this contains all your transition styles uh, inside this bundle. So I'm going to double click on this and once you do that, then uh, it should give you an option to install. In my case, it says overwrite as because I have already installed these transitions and titles. Uh, but for you, it will say install. So just go ahead and click on install and uh, I'm just going to click on cancel. Once you install it, then you should find these transitions. In the video transitions section over here and just scroll down and you should see easy edit swift transitions um, so let's just uh, quickly create a project over here i'm going to drag in this video put it on the timeline and let's just drag the second video over here all right so we have these two video clips and we want to apply transition in between these two clips right over here so i can just pick any transition from here I can scrub all these uh, transitions and see what will work best for me. So I think uh, the card center transition looks pretty cool. So I'm going to just drag it and I'm going to drop in between these two clips. But as you can see, it doesn't actually work. And the reason for that is because we are actually at the end of our first clip and at the beginning of our second clip. For this transition to actually work, you need to trim your clips so maybe i'll just trim it down to around two seconds and if i now just bring this in and drag in the card center transition you can just see that uh, now you'll be able to apply the transition so now once you apply it then you can just play the animation and you can see that your transition works absolutely fine now you can click on the transition itself and in the inspector you can see that we have the duration control over here you can uh, extend the duration over here itself or you can also click on the uh, transition itself over here in the timeline and extend it and now we also have the alignment option over here uh, but as you can see we are not able to click the middle alignment and the right alignment and that is because uh, we need to also let's just get rid of this transition so we need to also uh, trim the second clip over here. So let's just do that. I'm going to trim it down to two seconds. Now let's combine these two together. And now if you drag in your card center transition, you can see that you will be able to apply it in the middle. And now if you click on this, you will be able to see that we can now easily change the alignment to either right, center or on the left. So that is how you can use these transitions. All right, so that's good. Uh, now let's um, take a look at all these transitions. We have a uh, card transition and you have all the different directions, bottom, center, left, bottom, left, top. And this is for every transition in this pack. They have all the directions covered in this transitions. So then we have the card bounce and you can see that the card, card bounce also has uh, all different directions 
you can quickly scrub over these transitions and get a preview of how the transition will look and we have card shuffle and all these uh, transitions and we have some shape transitions if you drag and drop it then you can see the transition taking place so let's just quickly play this we have this smooth simple shape transition and you can here change the color and all that stuff you can also change the line width if you want to do so and let's play this again we we'll have a really cool transition then we have different uh, shapes we have circle we have diamond scrub over the transitions and you can see what they are doing so let's uh, actually use this elastic bottom and see this transition in action and by the way if you want to preview your transition smoothly then you have to enable the fusion cache so go to playback render cache and turn uh, set it to smart and also make sure the fusion memory cache is set to on so once you do that then you play your transition you can see that it is pretty smooth and seamless and you can also stretch out the length right so let's just uh, get rid of this and we have elastic transitions in all four directions we have elastic bounce as well same transition but with a little bit of bounce and uh, we have elastic rocking transition that's a pretty cool name <laughs> then we have fade transition so if i just scrub over this you can see the transition in action then we have uh, another style fade 212 and then we have fade circle bottom fade circle center all right so if i just drag and drop it you can see the transition over here with the same controls you can see we have a huge category of transitions we have a, a glitch we have some more shape transitions if you want to quickly get a demo of how these transitions look you can also go to their website uh, and you can just go to the catalog section over here and you can just uh, select any of these or you can just click on all and see all of these transitions in action so you will get an idea of what these transitions will look like there is a glitch category there are 47 glitch transitions and then we have glitch chromatic transitions as well All right so you can see that we have lots of transitions in here and it's kind of difficult to cover it in this video but you can just go ahead and uh, take a look at their catalog of transitions and get an idea of uh, how these transitions look uh, but uh, we will apply a zoom in transition that says custom point let's just drag and drop that in and let's uh, take a look at this transition so let's just render it out first all right so if you play this you can see the transition looks absolutely amazing and uh, we have the custom control over here this pivot over here is your custom control you can change it around and put it anywhere that you want so let's go in the middle of the transition you can see the pivot is right over here now uh, you can also enable the fusion overlay and you can get this crosshair thing and you can just move it around anywhere that you want and that will update the pivot position so now if we take a look at this transition you'll see that the transition will happen at this point so let's just wait for it to render and now play this there you go you can see the transition taking place on that point so yeah that is essentially how you can use these transitions all right so now let's take a look at the titles that are available with this pack so if you go to the title section scroll down and you will see easy edit swift titles so there are around 100 titles in this pack so you can just pick any text title that you want so just drag and drop it and go to the inspector and you can change the text over here and it should scale automatically uh, to the size of the text uh, and then you can change the uh, font and all that stuff and we can change the color and change the box color right and you can change the tracking amount the size you can even animate these properties right on the edit page and you can change the position over here and change the size over here as well if you want to rotate it then you can go to the settings page at the top and just rotate it over here all right and we have some 
text presets over here with uh, different animations. We have fade title, we have the credits as well. All right, so let's just look at it. All right, so we can give it a click, go to title. We can change all these settings related to this title. So let's just, um, actually, I'm just going to reduce the size and change the position, bring it to the left. And I can change the color and all that stuff. All right, so that is credits title. And uh, then we have some more of these uh, title animations. You can just um, scrub over and see how they look. Or you can also visit the catalog. They have it mentioned over there as well. Right, so let's uh, drag in this big title 01 and you can just um, change the colors do that over here we can change the color and you can also change the background color right now it's white but we can change it to any anything that you want so let's just make it a little bit black and make these two white like so so we have our own color scheme going on over here but if you don't want this uh, background color, what you can do is you can also make it transparent. Set the red, green, blue, and alpha all the way down to zero. And now you'll have an animation without the background. So uh, yeah, that is essentially how you can use these titles. So now let me show you how you can install LUTs, uh, which are available in this pack. So go to the color tab over here. And here in the LUTs section, uh, as you can see, I have easy edit LUTs already installed. But to install this, what you have to do is just simply right click on any of these uh, folders. So let's right click on ACES folder and I'm going to click on open file location. Now this uh, window should pop up. All you have to do is just find the folder um, and uh, where you have extracted this project and you have easy edit LUTs over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, folder, copy and I'm going to paste it in the LUT folder over here. I'm going to right click and click on paste. So since I have already done that, it's going to ask me to replace. So I'm going to click on cancel. You can see that the folder is right over here. And now if you go back to your inventory resolve, you can right click and click on refresh. You can right click on this entire folder, LUTs folder, right click, click on refresh. Right. So once it refreshes, then you will be able to see the easy edit LUTs folder over here. Then you can uh, pretty much uh, choose any of these uh, presets so let's say you want to use this deep 10 preset and you can also scrub over the thumbnail over here and you'll get an idea of what the preset will look like uh, once you're satisfied with the look then you can just simply drag it and drop it onto this node over here and that's it you can go to your edit page and you can see the LUT is already applied on the edit over here you can also control the settings over here as well if you wish to do so you can you know make it make it according to your needs that is essentially how you can edit the LUTs and now the last thing we are left with is the sound effects uh, for that you have to go to the sound library at the top click on that and you click on the three dot menu and click on add library and you just uh, browse for the same folder where you extracted this a file the project file i'm going to click on copy on this address and just simply paste it over here so that i'm in the same folder and now i'm just going to click on this sound effects folder and click on select folder All right so i have already installed this uh, so i'm going to click on no now what you have to do is just simply uh, go to any of these folders so such as um, we can click on opener and you can see that it says opener 01 and you in the sound library you search for opener opener and you have all these different openers over here so you can click on it and play it and if you like it then you just simply drag and drop it onto the edit page like so That's how you can uh, use the Swift transitions inside of DaVinci Resolve. All right now for the giveaway, all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and you have to comment down below which pack you want. So they have made three packs for DaVinci Resolve, Tiles Pro, Swift and YouTube Essential Library. You can pick any pack that you want and just comment it down below. Once you do that, then in two weeks time, winner will be announced on this uh, channel's community page 
or you can also follow easy edit on instagram they'll also announce the winners on the instagram page so i think that is the wrap for this video i hope this video was informative if it was then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one